Okay, now we've got the mesh set up here. Uh, we want to refine it further. So uh, if we go back to our uh, meshing options under Continua and Reference Values, uh, the first thing I can see is that the mesh is too coarse. I want to make it a bit finer. So I'll go ahead and uh, type a base size of, say, uh, two and a half centimeters. And now I can remesh this. Okay, cool. So you can see the outside has become a bit a bit finer, but in the inside it's still very coarse. So I want to reduce the mesh size here further. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this option here, maximum cell size. So as you can see, it's currently set as a percentage of the base size, a thousand, ten thousand percent. So I'll go ahead and change this to a hundred percent of the base size and press enter. Okay. Now when I generate the mesh, okay, now you can see a much more uh, uniform distribution of uh, cell sizes, which is good. So and something that you need to do in most um, in most cases is add a prism layer. So let me explain what that is first. Uh, most uh, flows which kind of go past uh, surfaces have this thing called a boundary layer and it's basically this region of flow where the uh, where the flow is slow near the wall because of the friction and as you get further and further away from the wall the flow speed increases so this boundary layer is very important uh, in most flows uh, you know for measuring things like drag and just you know to generally get the flow right the boundary layer plays a big role in this so in order to ca properly capture um, this behavior in our simulation we need to make sure that the cells that are near the wall are very small and refined so in uh, star CCM there's an option if we go back to our models and right click this select meshing models uh, let's go ahead and select this prism layer mesher now and close and when we do that you can see a bunch of options come here for prism layer and stuff so first thing I'll do is set a prism layer thickness uh, and here it's in relative size but let's say I want to relative to base size but let's say I want to specify it in absolute values so I'll just go over to this menu click the size type and change it to absolute. So now in this option I can just put it in terms of centimeters and I want my boundary layer to be 10 centimeters uh, wide which should be about a fifth of this span. And we'll also set the number of prism layers. Uh, let's say let's do 12 prism layers and here's the pr prism layer stretching so this affects uh, basically the way that the prism layer increases with size so let's change that down to 1.3 uh, and now when we rerun the mesh Now you can see it's created these nice prism layers on all of the walls.